At the Chopra Center for Wellbeing, we are really proud uh, about our collaboration with Dr. V. S. Shiva, who's actually one of the original developers of email. Uh, he's an MIT scientist, and he has created a new language and a new way of explaining systems biology. I had this interesting early life opportunity where I actually grew up in these two worlds. You know, I was born in Bombay. But in the summer times, I spent with my grandmother uh, and my grandparents in a village in deep, deep South India. My grandmother worked 16 hours a day, but she also was what was called a Siddhar, or a shaman. And Siddha was one of India's ancient systems of medicine. And it was practiced all over India for you know, nearly 5,000 years or longer. But my grandmother was trained so she could, for example, look at your face and predict what was going on inside your body. And that's, a, that's an ancient science called Samudraka Lakshanam. She also knew mantras, she also knew different types of massage techniques. But so once she assessed someone's state using their face, then she would prescribe different types of modalities. So no two people got the same prescription. Right now, the system that uh, conventional medicine uses is what we call reductionism. We look at parts to describe the whole. Systems biology uh, is totally different. It's based on traditional healing systems like Ayurveda, for example, which believe that in fact there are no parts. What we call parts are activities of the whole. That's why we say holistic, because holistic means wholeness. The body functions as a totality, not as separate parts. As a child growing up, I saw this incredible woman, you know, who could heal people just by looking at their face. And when I looked at Western medicine, we do all these exams and tests, etc. And sometimes people aren't able to diagnose people as quickly as effectively as what this woman with no degree, no knowledge had. And it was fascinating for me. So here, I've been trained at the most elite institution in technology in the world, MIT. And at the same time, I was trained by a woman who had no degrees. So for me to bridge those worlds together is what my life is about. What I've done with this course, having this, had this unique opportunity to be both an Eastern and Western trained scientist, I've been able to bridge that with a new language. Dr. Shiva has developed this amazing way of looking at it. So without doing experiments on animals or even on cells or on human beings, mathematically can predict the effect of herbs combination of herbs, or what we call adaptogens, of diet, of behavior, of everything that happens in life. Mathematically predict, according to your body type, what you need and what is most holistic for you. Many patients today can go on the internet and they're already finding solutions to their own ailments. I think many patients want their doctors also be participating in their healthcare. The intention of this course is to educate the MD using modern Western science, so they feel comfortable that when their patients come to them, that, that they can communicate to their patients and explain the knowledge that their patients are starting to find out in this integrative manner through the systems approach. There are three courses, and you can take them in parallel, you can take them together. So in the first course, people actually understand that there's a common language that they can use to describe Western systems plus ancient systems of, of knowledge. In the second course, you're really learning how to apply it, and we, we focus on five herbs, five common herbs that have been most researched even in the Western uh, literature. In the third course, we also now use this language and this framework to look at a whole array of things, for example, yoga, meditation, as well as natural cycles and rhythms, which are part of all the Eastern systems of medicine. I think the big takeaway from this course will be that there's a foundational knowledge based in science that binds Eastern and Western systems of medicine. And once you learn that language, which is founded in science, you'll be actually be able to bridge East and West, science and tradition, ancient and modern. That's what this course is going to give you through the systems approach to medicine.